you for joining us, uh, uh, Professor Rangarajan. It's a pleasure to have you here uh, at the Kaho Tech event. Uh, what I want to understand from you uh, is the R&D culture in India. Uh, it has not changed um, you know, all this while in India, but do you see this changing at this point in time and how do you like foresee or what are your current views around that? Yeah, I wouldn't say that it has not changed. Uh, definitely there has been some change, but probably what is missing are uh, you know, the deep connections with the industry. Uh, so that is probably a missing piece for India. Uh, somehow it has been difficult for Indian academic institutions and Indian industries uh, to come together. Uh, but in basic research, we are doing okay. Of course, we can do better. Um, but we hope, uh, you know, now they have announced the National Research Foundation, which is supposed to, uh, you know, provide uh, substantial funds for uh, Indian uh, science R&D. Uh, that should also help a lot in uh, taking it to the next level. Right. So a lot of brain drain is also happening these days. Uh, uh, students are actively studying abroad and they're not coming back. So what are your views around this trend and how do you think, you know, what are the solutions that we can kind of uh, give to these students? Only solution is to make uh, the atmosphere here more attractive in all our academic and R&D institutions. And uh, it's also, it should also be you know, clear that uh, academic institutions alone do not have enough positions to absorb all the people who may want to come back. Therefore, the industry also needs to uh, hire a lot of uh, R&D personnel, uh, those with PhDs and so on. In fact, the majority of our researchers in the US are hired by the industry, not by the academics. In academics, the number of positions would always be small, whichever country you look at. Uh, so I think it has to be a sustained effort by everyone concerned, by academic institutions to make their uh, ecosystem better, by industry to hire more R&D people. Uh, so all this is going to help. So by and large, the uh, industry uh, has to take the center stage in terms of uh, uh, doing it. And uh, do, you, do you think there is enough, uh, I mean, uh, facilities available or um, you, you know protocols available to do that industry as well as academia partnerships into research at this yeah, point that that has been a challenge in india i think uh, it is much easier to do elsewhere uh, we somehow have not figured out a very uh, frictionless mechanism to achieve this um, this is something which i think both the academia and the industry need to work together to sort this out there are probably a lot of IP issues, um, you know, a lot of issues from the academic side where people are, uh, you know, into their own comfort zone doing their own basic research. They feel what is the need to sort of go to industry. Um, so those attitudes also need to change. Do you think government can help in being that enabler and uh, bringing that trust between both of these? Government can probably help a little bit, but not. I would say that much. It's both these parties which have to work together and uh, sort this out. Okay, right. Thank you so much for joining us here.